Hello and welcome to a new episode of Beyond the Boundary, powered by Elista, where we are joined by the UAE leg spinner Vaishnavi Mahesh as we talk to her ahead of the inaugural edition of the Under-19 World Cup. Smart ho raha India. Jaise India me bana Elista Smart LED TV with world-class clarity and amazing features. What was your reaction after getting selected for the under 19 world cup? Uh I think uh the first thing I did was go to my parents and tell them amma appa the selection list is out. Okay. Um I'm selected and the first thing I and after that I went to the puja room and then I seek blessings of God. I think that was the first first thing I did. So I was really really happy about getting selected for the under 19 world. Cup. Uh how did your cricketing journey start? Uh I uh, like any other kid I started cricket with you know I started I started cricket with like a plastic bat and a plastic ball but then uh, I used to also play with my mom uh, I used to play badminton and I used to play volleyball as well so my dad used to play cricket with me and my mom used to play badminton and volleyball but then I felt uh, the bat attracted me more than what the racket or the bigger ball did okay. so I think Yeah, that's how I started the journey. Okay, uh, do you remember your first year of training? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. Actually, Any... actually, my first day of uh, training started uh, at one of the academies near my house. Okay. And uh, I saw this guy wearing gears, all the all the gears, and I got really attracted to it. And then okay. my coach asked me to jog around the ground, and I didn't know how to jog. I was literally sprinting around the ground, so that's my first memory of training. Okay, and what yeah. inspired you to choose leg break? Uh, see, uh, the first thing was I didn't know I was a leg break bowler. I used to come and do some pace bowling, and I could reach the batter before the ball could reach. Okay. So my my coach was watching me. Was the one who said, "You are a leg break bowler. You have that kind of wrist movement. So you have to start leg break." But then the emphasis would be on one of the uh, programs that was conducted by ABCD, Simply Life. Uh, that's when uh, Vijay Bharadwaj sir, Hemang Badani sir, uh, all of them were present, and we had a 10-day training camp. That allowed me to get a lot more experience on the leg break bowling. Okay. And, uh, and then we played a game in the in Dubai Stadium. which was uh, supervised by the legend Anil Kumble sir okay and i was i was 9 or 10 at that time and uh, my first over first ball was a wicket and i think that was a huge um, huge motivation for me to keep doing what i do so bowl leg break okay and you mentioned uh, in one of the interviews that you have ms dhoni as your influence so i'm a little surprised <laughs> you didn't take batting I I think MS Dhoni is an influence for a lot of cricketers and me being a person from Chennai I love Chennai Super Kings as well so okay. I love MS Dhoni uh, many of the female cricketers we talked to uh, did play with the boys in leading up to their selection in the national side as part of their journey so that was a challenge for them not playing the right not finding the right surroundings to play with so did you face any kind of those challenges as well um yes i did uh when i first, when i started cricket there were no girls to play with and i was the only girl in the academy so i had to play with a lot of boys and uh, leading up to the national side as well i first joined into the senior team at the age of uh, 12 i made my debut okay. so i was looking at people who are at their 25 30 40s and when you have people of that category you don't you don't play your right age as well you play one level above you so yeah. yes i did face the challenge of not being able to play my own age category and not being able to face girls at the right time but then yeah and now you are part of the inaugural edition of under 19 world cup how excited are you for the world cup Oh, very excited! I'm, uh, I'm eagerly looking forward to all the matches of the uh, World Cup. Do you feel a sense of responsibility in this under-19 side? Uh, I mean, look, 
coming from the senior team, having a lot of experience and stuff, I think yes, I do feel a lot of uh, responsibility. Um, and I think it's the same responsibility that I feel in the senior team as well. But this is just a bit more, just one step above that. I think. And uh, what advice has seniors given to you? Any re- advice you have, we would have received from them. I did. I received a lot of advice, and uh, but each one of them just say, you know, play your own game, uh, bowl the way you always do, and bat confidently. If you're a really good fielder, just keep watching the ball. It's just the general advices, but then those small, small advices make your day as you feel. Talking beyond cricket, how do you unwind from cricket? What are your hobbies? I love to sing. All right. Um, yeah, my mom was a singer, so I love to sing. And uh, I love to read books when I want to unwind from cricket. I love to read fiction. Okay. Okay. I'm currently reading uh, this book called Pony and Selvan. I think a movie also released. Yeah, movie. yeah. So I'm reading that book. It's been very interesting. So that's what I do to unwind from cricket. Uh, any of the books which has really helped you in your in this cricketing course, course as in journey. Yes. I've read uh, Sachin's autobiography. Okay. And uh, Suresh Raina's autobiography too. So I think those were the two books that really gave me the perspective of how to look at a game. What are the challenges they faced? How great, how blessed I am, how grateful I am for being in this country and you know getting to the national side. What they had to face, what I have to face. So I think I'm able to relate to the characters a little, and also take a lot of experience from those books. Great. And uh, you already said you support Chennai Super Kings, and IPL is coming up, a women's IPL. So I think I'm assuming you will be looking forward to playing in that. Ah <laughs> yes, yes I do. I do. I'm I'm a huge supporter of Chennai Super Kings and Mumbai Indians both. So okay. yes, I'm looking forward to playing in the women's IPL if I get an opportunity. But I think any team, I'd be, uh, I'd be really, really happy. Smart aura India. Jaise India me bana alista smart LED TV with world class clarity and amazing features.